watching naked people walk through a haunted house brings up questions. Like why do we evolve to be so naked and squishy to begin with? Covering ourselves with textiles is a mixture of morality and physical security, but some cultures treat nudity as a rote, day-to-day -day aspect of living, like the Awa, one of Brazil's last nomadic people. And in the industrialized Western world, Germany has led the way when it comes to the naturist movement. Freikopper culture, or free body culture, which has its beginnings in the late 19th century, while the rest of the Western world would nary expose a Victorian ankle, let alone let their pantaloons drop. But with so many species sporting some sort of covering, like a silky fur coat, or hard shells, or even being endowed with sharp teeth or claws, why would we humans be clad in something as vulnerable as skin bags, with our squishy organs just millimeters beneath? Well, one reason, besides making sure our internal organs don't leak out, is that our skin is an exquisite sensory system. It's covered in white blood cells that attack any invading harmful bacteria, and it also sends signals from your skin to tell your body's immune system to launch into action. It's also adept at keeping our temperatures regulated no matter what climate we're in. When it's cold outside, blood vessels contract to keep the blood near the surface of your skin from becoming too cool. When it's hot outside, the same blood vessels expand to encourage heat loss and you begin to sweat. But it's also incredibly vulnerable. The trade-off, it would seem, is that humans have higher cognition skills to compensate for our soft and downy bodies. In order to better understand the trade-off, we'll look at the humble octopus. With just 500 million neurons to a human's 100 billion neurons, it would seem that these guys would come up short in the smarts department. Not so. Most of these neurons are distributed along the octopus's limbs and suckers, while the rest reside in a sort of central brain located around the esophagus and near the optic nerves of the creature's eyes. It's a nervous system entirely different from humans, and yet these cephalopods display high levels of problem solving, including recognizing symbols, opening containers, and stuffing itself into two halves of a coconut shell to evade would-be predators. So the idea is that when you have no spikes, no bones, no shells to protect you, a kind of enhanced intelligence develops. Not unlike some hairless primates we know. <clears throat> hey, you bipedals out there, what about you? Would you go through a haunted house naked? And if you could live in a naturist world, all naked all the time, would you? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos that come in, make sure to subscribe. Hey, you bipedals out there, what about you? Would you go through a haunted house naked? And if you could live in a naturist world all naked all the time, would you? Let us know on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter, and make sure to check out StuffToBlowYourMind.com.